fatigue, circulation problems, chronic joint pain, fibromyalgia, even fat in the liver, insomnia, and mood disturbance. These are just some of the problems that people suffer from every day. But how can we find a solution to these problems? What can we do to improve our health without spending so much money? The answer is simple. Going for a walk will help you a lot if you suffer from any of these problems. And it is here in Easy and Natural where we will tell you what are the benefits of walking several minutes a day. So if you like this type of content, feel free to follow us and activate the notification bell so you know when we upload new content. By the way, give us a like and now let's start with the video. We tell you that this simple natural activity is the closest thing we know to a super remedy to prolong life and not only that, it can improve the quality of it. Now that we've explained, let's get down to the important stuff. 10 Surprising Effects of Walking Every Day Benefit number 1. Walking is the best remedy there is. We tell you that the simple fact of walking an hour daily can even reprogram your genes and cut in half those that generate obesity, inflammation, and increase the risk of death. Walking also reduces those genes that age us, and this is of enormous importance. Second effect. Walking for at least 30 minutes. It helps burn calories, depending on how hard you walk and how much you weigh. The faster you walk, the better over time. This helps burn, especially visceral fat, the fat that accumulates between your organs and your abdomen. And it's just that fat that generates inflammation, tiredness, fatigue, insulin resistance, prediabetes, and all the other ills of inflammation. And this is more important than one can imagine, because by reducing inflammation when walking we are reducing the risk of thrombosis, heart attacks, strokes, among other things. In addition, studies have shown that walking for at least 15 minutes a day already begins to reduce those impulses or binges that we have towards sweets, especially when we are stressed or more nervous. If you are liking the video, give us a like and leave us a comment on the subject. We will be happy to read it. Third benefit, step counter. For those who have the application that counts steps, walking at least 2,600 steps per day lowers blood glucose and glycosylated hemoglobin, a parameter used by doctors to see how controlled diabetes is. In addition, studies showed that walking literally can cure prediabetes, preventing it from turning into diabetes. Fourth benefit, walking improves high blood pressure. Without exaggeration, studies have shown that those who walk daily live at least eight years longer. No matter how old you are, these benefits were seen even after age 65. The risks of dying in the next eight years are reduced by up to 45%, even if you already have chronic diseases, reducing the risk of dying from heart attacks and even cancer. But it's not just living longer, it's better. The same studies showed that walking daily can even leave you up to 16 years younger. And all this when we measure different parameters of youth and old age in relation to metabolism to bones, to muscles, to cardiovascular health, to the health of your brain, of your neurons. This rejuvenates this effect was seen especially in those who walk daily at faster paces. Fifth benefit, improve your blood pressure. Walking daily for at least three to six months showed a considerable reduction in at least 11 millimeters of mercury blood pressure, regardless of your age. In addition, both men and women who walk every day have at least a 30% low risk of stroke related to increased blood pressure. Now, look how wonderful if this walking is done at a slightly faster pace. This risk is reduced by up to 40% according to a Harvard study. Tell us as comments what you are liking the video and if you have chosen to have a healthier life with walking and feel free to follow us so you don't miss more content like this. Sixth benefit improve your bone health and firmness. No matter how old you are, your bones will be stronger. You will even slow down the loss of bone mass that occurs when you have osteoporosis. In other words, it improves this disease, reduces all its symptoms, and decreases the risk of fractures. We note that in the elderly, fractures are associated with hospitalization, prolonged risk of thrombosis, and decreased quality of life. A major study showed that daily walking in women after menopause reduces the risk of osteoporosis by up to 
It's honestly amazing how much good it does us to get out and walk. Seventh benefit. Daily walking strengthens your body. We're not just talking about your leg muscles, but also your abs and back, and it also strengthens your spine. This makes your joints better supported and more lubricated. All this reduces chronic pain caused by osteoarthritis and arthritis along with muscle atrophy. Also, if you lift your arms when you walk and make flapping-like movements, you are going to be stimulating your shoulder muscles in your arms, strengthening these joints as well. Eighth benefit, best for poor memory and concentration. A large study of more than 6,000 people over the age of 65 showed that walking every day for at least two and a half kilometers, which is equivalent to 30 to 40 minutes per day, slows the brain deterioration that occurs with age, even decreasing the risk of dementia or Alzheimer's disease. In both men and women and in older people, even after the age of 80, walking at least one kilometer per day improves memory, an unexpected benefit. Walking every day can even improve the function of your immune system. One study showed that those who do this exercise daily have fewer flus, fewer colds, even 30 to 40% fewer episodes per year. Ninth benefit, walking reduces the risk of cancer. Doing this exercise every day even reduces the risk of cancer, mainly breast cancer. So, if you are a woman with obesity, you use hormones, or you have a family history of breast cancer walk every day, you are going to have 17% less risk of having cancer, and this is a very powerful effect. Tenth benefit. A great benefit that acts in a general way in our body is that it helps to have less inflammation in our body, and so we are going to improve our cholesterol. If in the accumulation of fat in the liver, the symptoms of chronic fatigue will improve, Walking acts as a natural liberator of endorphins, which are the substances that make us feel happy, motivated, and at night, the symptoms of insomnia will improve. I'm sure you are wondering, how much should we walk to have all these benefits? The ideal would be 150 minutes per week or if you can more than this, but if at the beginning you find it difficult due to lack of motivation or problems with your routine, walk 5 to 10 minutes every day. Find a time like, for example, after lunch or do not use the elevator anymore, use the stairs parked or walk even inside your house. All this until exercise becomes a habit. We know that this physical activity throughout the day is also very good for your health. What if you have very advanced chronic joint problems? Well, the first thing, obviously, would be to consult with your doctor and your physiotherapist but in general hydrogym exercises can be recommended. All this to reduce the impact on the joints. How many steps to walk per day for those who have the appliance? The more the better, but in general, between five and 10,000 steps daily would be enough, but even with fewer steps, depending on your age and health condition, the benefits begin to be seen from 2,600, 4,400, and so the degree goes up until you reach at least five to 10,000 steps. Pasture is fundamental, always looking straight ahead with your head up, not walking while looking at your cell phone or looking at the ground. The muscles of the neck and shoulders should be relaxed, the spine should be straight, and the abdominal muscles slightly contracted. The swinging of the arms should be free harmonious and with a slight bend in the elbow. We should not drag our feet and ideally use a shoe that fits us comfortably with good support for the arch of our feet, with an insole that is able to reduce the impact on the ground. That is to say, that absorbs the impact so that, in this way, your joints are protected. It is very important to carry a bottle of water with you to drink before and after walking. When you finish walking, Always remember to stretch your muscles and take the opportunity to do a relaxation or meditation exercise. If you are just coming out of a sedentary life and you find it difficult to use the first 10 minutes to walk more slowly, increase the speed according to your possibilities. So much for today's video. If you like the video please like us and leave us a comment about what you thought of the video, we will gladly read it. Don't forget to follow us for more content like this and turn on the notification bell so YouTube will notify you when we upload new content. See you in the next video.